Hi, host Eric here. I was talking with famous people. I'm making this video this evening to say I'm sorry to Metasoap. I'm feeling guilty. It doesn't mean I was wrong, but I feel bad because I came down on you like a house of bricks. I mean, we kind of worked up to it, but I have to be a little bit more careful than that. Look. So I got defeated today, you know, or yesterday, I guess it was. Yesterday, yeah. I got defeated yesterday by at ENTP. I told a story about in the big metaphysics video, part one, which I need to fix and stuff. Because, I mean, I'm not fixed. I need to add some addendums. I didn't, I skipped a couple of things by accident. So, like, I, I didn't follow the table of contents I said I was going to follow. And I'm not sure where those, those missing papers went. And maybe I didn't even make them yet. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I'm a believer in magical thinking. I, I At least I utilize it. When I say that I believe it, I mean, it's one of the meta-realities that I in, in, incorporate into my overall understanding of the universe and the realities that, we, that comprise it. And the magical thinking, for me... I, some of the time, will view the world through the perspective of what am I supposed to do here? That there's a, there's something I'm supposed to do, and I'm being given messages by the universe as to what I'm supposed to do. So, it's a habit I got in with AA when I first started being in AA because I had to engage in magical thinking. And... Not something I was accustomed to. So it's very resistant to. <clears throat> but there's some fear in there, you know, like, well, what if I can't get out of it? <laughs> what if I can't stop uh, being irrational? Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't it doesn't happen like that. You it, these various to the extent that any reality any meta reality is dominant predominant um it's going to face some pushback necessarily my point is that i don't like it i don't like it when i get defeated at all I don't like it when somebody scraps with me and tries to embarrass me. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't make me sad or anything. It just. It just drives home some things, you know, like. Well, that's how I've said it. You're not bulletproof, Eric, and I'm not bulletproof. And I don't like, I don't like being reminded of that. You know, um, I can lose. I lose sometimes. But if I am going to lose, I'd rather not have the opponent rub it in. I'm used to formal concessions, and in the absence of one, I can operate under the assumption that the round's still going on, but at a certain point, I knew better, or I should have known better. Sorry, Mezzo, but I'm still right, but sorry.